Well, hello. Today I'd like to welcome you to my first impressions of a triangular pattern. This is a Reform 4383. So let's dive into it. All right, so let's take a look at the Reform 4383. So first thing I notice, a little bit of interestingness on the cap. And the other end of the pen on the piston turning knob. So yeah, it's 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 triangular. Now this isn't an Omos 360. Uh, the triangularness rounds out until it meets this perfectly normal round barrel. And the same thing with the cap, it's triangular, but then it rounds out down here. Uh, we've got the model number, which is handy, because reform, it's kind of hard to find their models sometimes. Uh, I don't know what the 175 is, but then there's a 585, which means it's 14 karat gold nib. Uh, and then a little bit of design on the cap, or on the clip, I mean. Uh, I don't see any uh, branding on the pen, which I appreciate. I think that's kind of nice. Open it up. You've got a segmented inkwinda, which I found on a lot of Reform pens. And we have a lovely Reform nib which, as I said before, is gold. And it says it's made in Germany, and I don't see a size. Nope. Nope, no size. And then the feed, for whatever that's worth, there's a feed. So, let's ink it up with Parker Quink Washable Blue. Oh yeah, nice bubbling. We'll just do one turn of the piston. That seems to have drawn ink very well. I when, when I got this pen, I had to do a little cleaning on it, but not really a whole lot. This this pen was in good shape. And I seem to have shed paper towel all over the section. <laughs> So let's see how it writes. Seems to be a fairly smooth nib. And it was a little slow to get going, but I don't hold that against a pen when you first fill it. Uh, if it keeps doing it, maybe I will. As you can see, there is a bit of flex to it. We may have a bit of a hard start problem. Uh, this may be one of those pens where it's a good thing I started doing the... Well, we'll talk about my feelings about it later. So, this may be one I just need to use for a while. Uh, as far as... Oof! Not happy about that. Wetness and flow grand when it gets going not so much a fan of the hard starting there uh, the smear test so yeah you're seeing why I started filming these uh, reactions the introduction and the ending to these videos later uh, because right now it's giving a really bad first impression, not going to lie. Oh, that's scratchy. Not something I hold against a pen, but it is scratchy. Probably a scratchy extra fine. And finally, the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test. A little railroading there. All right, so uh, not amazing, not bad, just me. Can I say me? <laughs> That's my reaction to it, anyway. So uh, this pen quickly became empty after I filmed that first impression, and when I say quickly, I mean within about two days. Not a slight on the pen. 
That's how much I enjoyed writing with it. You know, not the flexiest thing, but, uh, I mean, it's waiting to be cleaned out now, but a uh, very fun pen to write with. Uh, the triangular thing, as I realized the more I handled it, is, okay, just limited to the cap and the piston turning knob, but still, kind of a neat effect. Uh, pocket test, whoop, <laughs> fits right in. So, uh, yeah, I am quite thrilled with it. I'm really glad I bought this one. I, I was eyeing one on Proto Pens, and uh, it was part of a three pen set, and I said, ooh, I don't know, that's kind of expensive. And uh, I'm, you know, it's probably worth it, but because it is a good pen. But these pen and pencil sets don't interest me, because all I care about is the fountain pen. So uh, when I found this one all by its lonesome, I uh, went with this, this route instead. And glad I did. I mean, it, it's not one of those uh, vintage Bach nibs like you'll find on some. Huh. Just realized the light was, I don't know what it was lighting up, but not me. Uh, it, it's not like the uh, Bach nibs you find on some pens, but uh, on the whole, I'm quite pleased with it. And uh, now that it is out of the bag and I can write with it openly and show it on pens and use I think it's going to see more use so hope that was interesting hope was useful we'll talk to you later bye bye